Christmas riddle for you Turgeon, who's making a list, checking it twice, and then probably deciding everyone's naughty not nice anyway. Oh, let me take a wild guess. Correct. He's on the line for you. Yeah, he probably wants to say bar humbug or something. Gideon, Merry Christmas. I would reply with, and to you, Turgeon, but alas, I have just come from a meeting of the heads of the major galactic mega corporation, so I'm afraid I have dire news. They have voted to cancel Christmas. They did what? But that's ridiculous. You can't just cancel Christmas. It's as good as cancelled, dear boy. As good as. You see, oh, with the Thargoid threat looming, they would prefer to invest in war rather than celebrate a holiday of peace and goodwill. They believe concentrating on fear ultimately serves their financial purposes better. What about you, Gwydion? Do you think frightening people is the right thing to do? By nature, I am a happy man, Turgeon. I believe in smiles and joy. Right. I know you suspect my motives, dear boy. No doubt you believe I have some secret underlying scheme. And I am not really motivated by goodwill at all. But that is irrelevant. You see, the truth is, whether we like it or not, Christmas has become a symbiotic holiday. Half commercial and half spiritual. And the one cannot now exist without the other. It is a delicate balancing act, Turgeon, and one that requires subtlety to maintain. Boycotting Christmas would destroy that balance, and therefore, ultimately, it would also damage the human spirit. And with the Thargoids practically on our doorstep, we need the human spirit now more than ever. Oh, when you put it like that, it's bizarrely logical, actually. Indeed. You see, Turgeon, I am not just a pretty face. Uh, quite. So, what are we going to do about it? There must be something. We very little, I suspect. But this problem is too abstract to be solved using standard tools. What we need is a non-standard tool. Something altogether more esoteric, if you will. So, an esoteric tool, eh? Well, as it happens, I think I know just the tool. Or perhaps I should say, utensil. Indeed. Good luck, Judge. Go. Save Christmas. Oh, and ho, ho, ho. Ugh. Are, are you sure this is the place, Cass? I mean, it looks a bit, uh, well, seedy, doesn't it? Yes. It is. And yes, it does. Oh, well, I'll take your word for it. What was his advertisement said again? Commander Spatula P.I. No job is too small, no fee is too big. Weird cases are speciality. 891 Post Post Retro near Modern Street, Old San Francisco. Hmm, 891. Well, this looks like it. Here we go then. Ah, hello. Uh, may I come in? Uh, well, well, that depends. You're not the police, are you? The police? No. Uh, I've come about a case. I'd like to hire you. My name's Turkin Starstone. Turkin Star Bonbon? Wait, as in THE Turkin Star Bonbon? <sighs> yes, that one. So, will you take the case? It's about Christmas, you see. Someone wants Christmas dead. And I'd like you to find out who? and why, and stop them, basically. Um, I can pay you. Huh. Did, did you just say pay? As in money. Like, actual money. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. My fees are a hundred, uh, I mean, five hundred credits a week day. A weekday, yes, extra on weekends. Uh, plus expenses. Ah, perfect. Consider yourself hired. Now, save Christmas. The entire galaxy is counting on you. No pressure.
class? Yes, Andra. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did Turton just leave Christmas entirely in the hands of a guy who has the name of a kitchen utensil? Um, well I'm sure a lot of people out there would help save Christmas if they knew it was in danger. We just have to find a way to tell them. Indeed. And I think I have a way. I did used to be part of a satellite array, remember? Will Christmas be saved? Can Gwydion really be trusted? How does Andra plan to recruit more commanders to the cause? To find out if any of these questions are answered, unlikely, tune in to Commander Spatula's channel tomorrow at 6pm GMT.